Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of sessions on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. In the first session, we looked at getting started with database management. In this session, we will look at installing and configuring management agents for database management. My name is Sriram Vrinda. I am a product manager with the enterprise and cloud observability and management platform in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Let's get started with the steps that you would go through to install and configure management agents. We will essentially divide this into four different steps. One is a prerequisite step to create a dynamic group and policies associated with the dynamic group and policies for the agent communication. The next step is to download the agent software from the management agent cloud service in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The third step is to install and configure the management agent software. And then finally, we verify the management agent installation. The first step is a prerequisite step wherein you create a dynamic group and policies for agent communication to interact with the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure service endpoints you must explicitly consent to let the management agents carry on the communication with the management agent cloud service. In this step, a dynamic group is to be created using the identity and access management service from the OCI console. This group includes all management agents. This is a one time setup. And as any new management agent is being installed, will automatically belong to this group based on the resource type matching rules definition of the dynamic group. Once the dynamic group is created, you need to create policies to allow the management agents to interact with the management agent service and to allow the management agents to upload data to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure monitoring service. You may need to add similar policies if your service expects the management agent to deposit data to different services. Once we have done the prerequisite step. The next is to download the agent software from the management agent cloud service in OCI. From the hamburger menu, under monitoring and diagnostics, you would see the management agent cloud service. And once you click on that, you would go to the management agents homepage and you would see the downloads and keys from the left menu. And from there, if you click on that, you will be able to view the agent software download pane. On the agent software download pane, select the operating system that the management agent will be installed on. For example, click on agent for Linux for the Linux operating system. The agent software file is now saved onto your host. You also need to create an install agent key or an agent install key before performing the management agent installation. And this key has a certain set of validity and also would be used as part of your installation. Once we have these set of data, we are now ready to install and configure the management agent software. The first step is to install the management agent. The agent installation process does the following. A new user called MGMT underscore agent is created. This will be the management agent user. If MGMT underscore agent user already exists, the agent installation process will use it to install the agent software. All agent files are copied and installed by MGMT underscore agent user. The agent install base directory is the directory where the agent is installed. The directory is created as part of the agent installation process. The next step is to create a response file named as input.rsp. You can name it anything. You could create that file using a text editor and it is recommended that you create it under opt oracle mgmt underscore agent under the management agent user that was created in step one during the install process. So you sudo to the management agent user and then you create the input.rsp file with the management agent install key value and a credential password. The agent install key is required to validate the OCI region and the authenticity of the installation. Password of the agent wallet is used when the user provides a custom password for the wallet to store sensitive information. The password minimum length is eight characters 
and must contain alphabetic characters combined with numbers or special characters. Now finally you are ready to configure the management agent using the response file. So this is the command that you would use here to configure the management agent. Once you perform all these steps, we are now to verify the management agent installation. You can go to OCI console under monitoring and diagnostics. You will see management agent and that would take you to the management agent homepage. And from there you can click on the agents from the left menu. From the agents list, you can look for the agent that was recently installed using the created column, which displays the date of the agent installation or the host column, which displays the host name where the agent was installed. You could also check the availability column, which would be marked as active as part of a valid management agent installation. Now we are ready with the management agent. It is set up for OCI database management. The next step is to create and register external databases from OCI. I'll take you through the series of steps to create and register an external database in the next video.